Hi, we're going to talk about unit conversions today. Here's a basic way to convert units. We're going to start with our original unit. We're going to use our first conversion rate, maybe a second conversion rate, and so on, depending on what we're converting. We'll start with this example. You walk 10 yards to get to a friend's house. How far is this in feet? We're going to use the conversion rate, 1 yard equals 3 feet. We're going to fill out our chart here. Let's see how we would fill that out. What are we trying to find? 10 yards equals how many feet? We're going to start with our original unit, 10 yards, and use our conversion rate here. Our conversion rate, remember, was 1 yard equals 3 feet. When we write this, we can't just write 1 yard and 3 feet. We have to look at what are our units here. This is yards. This is like our numerator of a fraction. Below it, we have our denominator, so we're going to put yards down here also. Why are we doing that? Let's see what happens next. When we do this, this helps us divide out. Yards divide out with yards. If we had these both in the numerator or both in the denominator, they wouldn't divide out. When we divide yards by yards, all we're left with is feet. So then we're going to multiply everything in the numerator in the top and divide it by everything that's in the bottom, in the denominator. 10 times 3 is 30 feet, and 1 is 1, so 30 feet divided by 1. And we'll say, therefore, 10 yards is 30 feet. Let's go one step further. What if your original question asked you to find how many inches are in 10 yards? Well, we have two conversions to use. One yard equals three feet, and one foot equals 12 inches. Now let's set that up. Our original rate is 10 yards, and our first rate that we're going to use, our first conversion rate is three feet in one yard. Remember, we have yards in the numer numerator, so now we need yards in the denominator so that those will divide out. Our next conversion rate, we'll have to get to inches. We have feet in the numerator, so now we need feet in the denominator. So these feet will divide out. How does that work? Our yards divide out, our feet divide out, and then we multiply everything in the numerator, divide by everything in the denominator. So after we do this, we have 10 times 3 times 12 inches, because that is the only unit that's left here, divided by 1 times 1. Then we have 10 times 36, we did 3 times 12 first, divided by 1, so we have 360 inches. And we can say as a concluding statement, therefore, there are 360 inches in 10 yards.